OK, uh, hello everyone and welcome to this class. Uh, so that is uh, big data on AWS. Uh, so I think you already read the PDF of the syllabus. So here I just want to go through the uh, syllabus again. Um, so you can access the syllabus on Canvas. Um, so this is a one week online synchronized class. Uh, I'm your instructor, so I'm Dr. Xu Bing Wei. And this is my website. So at the time of this recording, so my website is still under construction, so it's not available yet. So I do provide a virtual office hours, so that is from Monday to Friday. So that is the um, uh, the Monday, um, May tenth, okay, uh, until Friday, May fourteenth, uh, between seven and eight p.m. And you can come to my uh, virtual office, which is on WebEx. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can also uh, send me email or you can ask in Slack. So I will talk about Slack later. So this class is a one week class and it is open to all GMU students. So uh, we cannot go very deep uh, of the AWS. So we are just talk the basic services especially the basic services for big data. So now we know that um, um, big data is very important. So because we generate a lot of huge amount of data and we are also always able to collect data from all different resources. So the volume, the type of data and also um, the requirement that we need to process the data in very short time period are all those big challenges in handling big data. So that's why this class we are focused on the big data. Uh, if you are interested in AWS, um, uh, like cloud computing or machine learning or data mining, etc. So I do offer the other classes. Uh, so if you're interested, please let me know. So this class, we will focus on big data. So especially like we know that during this pandemic, with the advance of science and technologies, we are able to fight against the pandemic. And the one key technology is using big data. So we can analyze the data from millions um, or billions of people's records, health records, activities, and we are able to understand the nature of this pandemic. And also we can develop vaccines or other medicines that to help us fight against this pandemic. So we will talk about the foundations of AWS service, especially like EC2 instance, um, VPC, and also S3. So those are the three basic uh, services on AWS. So no matter what you're going to use, either machine learning, cloud computing, uh, data mining, visualization, etc., you will always use those services. So we'll talk about those essential services. And this class will focus on the big data solutions like relational database, uh, data warehouse, which is uh, our Redshift, and also EMR, so that is to how to handle huge amount of data. We will also introduce the uh, BI tools, so business intelligence tools like QuickSight. And also we also will talk about uh, SQL, so that is a, a structured query language for the relational database. So those two ways to visualize and also to explore the data. Okay, um, the course format will be online asynchronous. And so please feel free to unlock those modules. So uh, if you can, so um, unlock the other modules so you don't need to finish one module per day so you can finish two or three modules on a single day as long as you finish those modules before the deadline. Uh, we, I will provide lecture videos and also lab video tutorials. Um, you also we will also need an AWS starter account so that we will use the free credits. So I think right now you all have received the email from AWS Educate. Uh, asking you to join Educate program and also join this classroom on AWS Educate. So please do join this virtual classroom, okay, because we will use that classroom to finish the labs. 
Um, all the call, all the lectures videos uh, will be on Canvas. Um, and also here are two other resources. One is YouTube channel and also one is my GitHub. So those uh, from there you can find out more uh, tutorials about big data, machine learning, or data visualizations, etc. Again, uh, cheating is not tolerated in this class, so it's it's still a standard um, uh, GMU class. Uh, so we still follow the GMU owner code. For this class, uh, we need to do 20% grades will be from the online participants, so that uh, we will join a social media mo uh, platform which is called Slack. So we are talking in Slack, so you need. To you need to post something each single day that so that we can interact. We can interact with each other. So that is will account for the twenty percent. Uh, you need to watch all those lectures, and within those uh, lecture videos, there are several embedded questions, so that you have to answer those questions correctly to receive those thirty percent of the total grade. We also have daily labs, so that will account for 50%. Okay, so that's the biggest component. And your final grade will be derived, uh, will be calculated based on this table. So for example, if you get above 94, you will get A. And if you get your grade is within this range, you will get C. Okay, so for the online participant, so we will join the Slack. Uh, you should receive the email short, uh, um, very soon that asking you to join uh, a workspace of this class. And within there, you can communicate with me and those other classmates during this week. You also need to finish those several assignments that uh, in Slack. Online lectures, so you need to watch several uh, lecture videos and answer those embedded questions in the lectures. Okay. Uh, so there are one or two questions in each video. So make sure that the, the video will be paused at each question. So you should answer the question correctly. After that, don't forget to click the submit icon at the end of the video so that you can submit your, your grade. Okay, so that is online lectures. Uh, we also have daily labs so that we will be assigned each single day. And there are late penalties. So late assignments will receive 50% per day. So for example, if you um, submit something late for one day, you will lose five points, two days lose 10 points, etc. However, uh, the next Saturday, May 15, is the absolute deadline for all the assignments. So for all the online participants, lectures, or the labs. So we don't have final exam. So everything uh, you should submit definitely before this day. Otherwise, those missing uh, assignments will receive zero. OK, so that is absolute, the absolute deadline. And after that, after that date, I will need to upload your final grades uh, to my medicine. And I think after one or two days, I will not be able to change uh, the grades. You do have one chance to resubmit your assignments. So uh, as long as you meet those uh, all those criteria. OK, um, so here let's t look at our uh, schedule. So uh, this is the five days uh, class. So uh, day one will be Monday, day two will be Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and also Friday. OK. Again, we don't have final exam. So on the first day, you will need to watch several videos. So we'll talk about the overall view of this class. And we'll cover what is AWS service, so the basic fundamental services. Uh, and we'll also talk about what is AWS Educate. OK. And also, we'll talk about what is data analytics. So uh, how, why do we need to analyze data? Uh, we also we, you also need to finish your first lab so that is create a website hosted by an EC2 instance. So this may sound like okay, that's how can I do that? So 
Actually, you will see that's pretty easy. So you don't need to understand any programming, any uh, knowledge in computer science, etc. So what you need is just with a few clicks and you will be able to launch a website. So you, that is the power of the cloud computing and that is the power of AWS. On the second day, we'll talk about the relational database. Um, we'll talk the basics of the SQL. Again, we will cover the, the very, very basics of the SQL. Um, and also we'll talk about the AWS solutions for relational database, which is AWS RDS. And you need to create your RDS instance on AWS. And we will also try to query data with SQL. On that day, you also need to download a software which is called PG Admin. So for this class, uh, everything will be done on AWS Educate Classroom, except this lab. So for this lab, you, you, you also need to download another software called PG Admin. So you will uh, see the links on Canvas uh, for that day, for on Tuesday. So that is the only software you need to download. You also want you also may want to download WebEx. So if you want to join the office hours. On third day or on Wednesday, we will talk about data visualization and also we will talk about QuickSight, which is uh, the visualization tools that's provided on AWS. So there are a lot of other data visualization tools like Tableau, which I teach in another class. Um, MongoDB chart and also uh, Microsoft also has like its own visualization tools. It's called, uh, I forgot the name, sorry for that, uh, Power BI, something like that. Anyway, so um, they are much the similar, so those BI tools. So this will give you another way that you can analyze data in the relational database. And I think most importantly, you can create interactive visualizations by using those BI tools. On Thursday, we'll talk about data warehouse. So that is another solution for data, uh, big data, and also different types of the data analytics. We also will introduce AWS Redshift. That is data warehouse solution on AWS. And also we'll talk about the AI functions, artificial intelligence. We know that AI is not very popular nowadays, so that actually in QuickSight, they do have some AI functions that allow you to perform some very powerful data analytics. On Friday, that is our last day, we will talk about data leak. And also we will talk what is um, big data. So for big data, we will talk about how to extract, load, and how to transform big data from data lake to different, into different format. Uh, specifically, we are talking about S3, that is a solution for data lake, and also EMR, so that is solution for ETL, and which is also for the big data. So in the lab, we all get familiar with S3, so you like to see how we can upload data to S3, use Athena to query the data in S in S data lake in S3, and also using QuickSight to analyze data in data link. Okay, so that is the schedule of um, this entire week. Again, this is a very short one week class. If you're interested in other um, features of AWS like cloud computing, machine learning, uh, data mining, etc., so do talk with me and I do also offer other classes that cover those topics. So this is the one week. I do wish you enjoying this class and also please feel free to reach me if you have any questions or have any difficulties.